Hi friends, thanks for joining me today. In summer, we are starting a new thing. I'm gonna do some familiar Bible stories and we might do two, um, two in a row. So this week we're doing Noah's Ark and then next week I have a beautiful story about Noah's Ark that I'd like to read to you. So we're gonna kind of flip flop back and forth. And at church, we're going to do art camp and science camp on the same stories um, two weeks in a row. So this week we'll do art camp and then next week we'll do science camp. But it's a whole bunch of materials and I, you probably don't have all of it at home. So if you wanna do that, come into church. But if you wanna stay here with me, then we will do some fun things too. So let's read out of the Bible our um, Bible story today. We're reading out of the World Story Bible, lovely, lively Bible stories to inspire faith. Our story is Noah's Ark, and you can find that in Genesis. Did you know that Genesis is the very first book of the Bible? Our story comes from the very beginning. It's such a long time ago. It's in Genesis. It's Genesis 6 through 9. The world was a mess. All of the people God had created were doing all kinds of wrong things, all except for one man named Noah. When God's people hurt each other, Noah helped them feel better. When they ignored God, Noah prayed. Noah, said God, I'm going to flood the earth, but I will save you and your family. Build an ark, fill it with two of every animal. Noah obeyed God and got to work. He measured and he cut, he sanded and he nailed. He filled the ark with two of every kind of animal. Rain clouds gathered in the sky. Noah's family hurried into the ark with the animals. God shut the door and the rain began. Let's see what our world friends have to say. The ark must have been gigantic to fill all of those animals. I hope God doesn't ask me to build anything that big. I only have access to cardboard and masking tape. For 40 days and 40 nights it rained. Inside the ark, birds sang, dogs barked, snakes hissed. But one morning, everything went quiet. The rain stopped. Slowly, all the water dried up and Noah and his family jumped off the ark and wiggled their toes in the dirt. Birds flew again, dogs ran, snakes slithered, and every animal family came out of the ark. Noah looked at the bright blue sky and saw a beautiful rainbow. And then God said, This is my covenant to you and all people. I promise never to flood everything again. The rainbow is my sign of a promise to you. I wonder what our world kids are thinking now. Sometimes I get bored stuck inside on a rainy afternoon. What did they do for 40 rainy days? My friends, God made a promise to us. God made a promise to never flood the whole world again. And what is our sign? What helps us remember that God made this promise to us? Do you know? Yeah, it's the rainbow. Our Bible story videos, um, Otto, he made a big promise. Sometimes promises are hard to keep. Do you ever have a hard time keeping your promises? Depends on the promise, right? Well, let's watch our video and see if this was a hard promise for Otto to keep. Your sick tot? Ostrich pox is the worst! Otto! Hurry up! We're going to be late for the 
the Junior Covenant campers meeting. Uh, why aren't you in your uniform? Sadly, I'm not going, Ada. I've got a promise to keep. What promise? I told Mom and Dad that I'd stay home and help them take care of Todd all day. Yeah, but I'm sure they'd let you go to this. Maybe so, but I promised. And we learned in Sunday school that when God makes a promise, it's forever. What does that have to do with you? Well, to a kid, a whole day is forever. I'm just trying to follow God's good example, Ada. God promised not to flood the earth again, and Otto promised to watch Todd for the whole day. It's pretty much the same thing. Otto, I don't really think that... Sorry, Ada. I've got a promise to keep. <sighs> All right. Juice. One juice coming right up. Hey, Otto. Otto. M Monty? Hi, Otto. It's Monty from Sunday School. Can you come out and play pinata kickball? Oh, man. I've always wanted to play pinata kickball. Oh, but I have to stay with Todd all day. She's sick. Well, just put some applesauce in her socks and come play. Sorry. I, I made a promise. All right. Goodbye. Juice, <coughs> please. Troop leader Susan is taking us all to see the new movie, Super Beetle Man 3. Super Beetle Man 3? Oh, I really want to see that. So come with us. <coughs> uh, no. No, you go on without me. But Otto... Made a promise. Keeping it. Go. Now. G uh, uh. <gasps> what was that? Otto! Otto, it's wonderful! The Good Times truck just blew a tire at the end of the block! The Good Times truck? Isn't that the truck that brings all the amazing candy and prizes to the Chester T. Good Times Pizza and Games World? The very same. The driver is letting kids take whatever they want before it all goes bad. Video games, toys, skateboards, go grab whatever you can carry. It's a chance of a lifetime! Must. Keep. Promise. Oh, no. God. Keep it together. No. Toys. Games. No, no, no. Good times. Go, Otto. It's okay. <coughs> <sighs> a promise is a promise. One juice. Coming up. Boy, that was a really hard promise. I don't know if I would have been able to not go out and get all the free toys and candy and games that I could think of. That would be fun. But just like God made a promise to us, we can make promises to our friends and help keep those promises too. Would you like to do a craft with me? You need a paper plate and then something to paint with or draw with or color with. It could be crayons, markers, paint, whatever you like and a pair of scissors. So I have my plate and I'm going to kind of bend it a little bit and I'm gonna make a little hole. And I'm going to cut, and I'm gonna cut just a half circle. Just like that, can you see that? And then I'm going to paint a rainbow on that half circle. Okay, so I painted that. And then you can let it dry. I haven't let mine dry yet, but that's okay. Oh dear, I did something wrong. I didn't paint it on the right part. You see that? I kind of did off center. That's okay. I'm just going to cut out a little more. Sometimes we make mistakes. Okay, so now I'm going to fold Fold up my rainbow. Isn't that cute? And then if you like, you can paint um, 
something down here. You can paint like water to help you remember the flood. Or you can make it the sky and make clouds. You can paint grass and some flowers too because we usually see rainbows right up against it. So do whatever you like. And in here is our reminder that God promises to love you. God promises that you are special in God's eyes. Well, my friends, thank you for joining me today, and I will see you again soon. Bye-bye.